Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we have a super rare unboxing of a Phoenix Models aircraft that I have been wanting to get for a very, very long time. If you do enjoy the video, please drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. But without further ado, let's get straight into the unboxing. So as I mentioned, it is a super um, rare aircraft. I have not seen it on YouTube before, so I'm assuming this is one of the first on YouTube, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, it's super, super, super rare. And there we go. Okay, so I did order this from Panda Fox Toys. Whoops. So here's a little paper. Here's a free discount code, 5% off if you want that. And then here is the aircraft right here. There we go. Um, it is the Global Super Tanker 747-8. Um, super gorgeous model. Oops. And there it is. Um, I would highly recommend you guys get this model. I have already looked at it. And it is fantastic as always. But yeah, we'll get into the box. Starting off with the gorgeous box, um, up here we have the aircraft type, which is a Boeing 747-400. Um, if you guys do not know, this is used, um, they fill up fire retardant, I think is what, yeah, fire retardant, and they put it in like these tanks that are inside the aircraft, then they fly over the fire and drop it. Um, they can also do water to help prevent fires. Currently, this aircraft is in Los Angeles or San Francisco the California area area helping fight fires but it is based in Colorado Springs Colorado or Denver Colorado um, so yeah here is the aircraft right here global super tanker 747 as you can see it is a very very gorgeous model even though I haven't shown you it but this is a computer generated version then it says global super tanker right here as well as the registration and then one for hundred scale which is the scale of the aircraft of course then right here it just gives you warnings um, this is made in China Phoenix models I guess is based in China then you have Boeing 747 aircraft and the registration one for hundred scale then you have the aircraft or the aircraft type sorry then global super tanker and then this is just the same as the opposing side. So let's get straight into the unboxing. Starting off with the unboxing, um, we're just gonna open it up and hopefully not tear the box. It is hard to get out. A few moments later. There we go. Okay, so there it is right there and it's clear plastic covering. And there it is. We'll put the box over there for now. As you can see, it is in a plastic um, covering sheet with the aircraft lying on the top here. And we'll just briefly pull it out here. One eternity later. There we go. And then that should just come off like that. All right, so here is the aircraft. Um, we'll put that aside for now and then we will get on to the aircraft i will give a brief overview of the aircraft so you can see here it is right here um very very gorgeous but for um this part of the unboxing or the review we're going to start with the front half of the aircraft Starting off at the front here, we have the cockpit windows, which looks extremely good on the Boeing 747. And then you have the nose cone right here, as well as two doors. Or no, that's not a door, sorry. That's like something they use for a tank, I guess. Um, their main door is all the way up here. Actually, I could be wrong. I think they do board. I was watching a video. They board either up here or like somewhere over here. Um, but anyway, this is Global Super Tanker right there, as well as a few windows. They do have 12 um, bunkers on the, or not bunkers, but like, yeah, bunk beds, I guess you could say, on the top of the aircraft for the crew. Um, we have a few antennas up here. 
Obviously, they have to be in extreme contact with everybody when they're dropping the fire retardant. And, um, yeah. So, you have a few antennas down here, as well as the landing gear right there. Then you have the all-white engines with, like, a little red triangle on each side, which does look very good. Um, so, I guess the colors of this aircraft are red, white, and gold, which does look extremely good. And then if we go a little further down, there's another door right here, as well as it goes from the red, white, and then it starts the gold stripes um, to the back of the aircraft. And then if we scoot the plane down a little further, you can see it is all um, red winglets right here. And then you have your another antenna back here, as well as another door, and they have a cargo um, compartment or cargo door, which I suppose they would use in case of um, having to carry cargo as well as the fire retardant. And then you have the registration right here, which is N744ST, as well as another antenna right here. And then if we scoot a little further back towards the tail, it says 944 on the tail, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. Um, but yeah, and then you can't really see it. Hold on, let me tilt it the plane a little. Um, it's it's red and gray um, rudders right there, which does look very very good. And yeah, obviously it says 944 on the back for some reason. And then you have your APU on the back right there. Here is a view of the top of the aircraft. Um, you can see the rudders in the back here as well as the um, all white wings with the red winglets on each side then you have your four engines then you have the cockpit windows as well as some antennas and lights and stuff on the top and two black dots which I'm not entirely sure what they're used for but um, yeah so this is the view of the top of the aircraft here is a view of the bottom of the aircraft um, it says global super tanker right here and then you have your landing gear and then your two engines as well as your front landing gear and then you're all red in the back as well as the gray rudders right there and the APU in the back so yeah that is the aircraft and then for the last part of the review I'm going to show the entire aircraft in its full um, so full image you can see all your um, stuff right here as well as the paint scheme and all that's good good stuff. Um, I would give this aircraft a 10 out of 10. Um, I primarily got this for Denver and Colorado Springs since there are a lot of fires in Colorado right now and this is based in Colorado Springs so it'll practically always be there if there's not um, a fire or something going on. Um, so yeah this is a 10 out of 10 on the model. That does conclude today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new and you do love aviation content, I hope you would consider subscribing after watching this video. Um, but anyway, here is the box right here and then the actual aircraft right here. Um, extremely, extremely gorgeous. 10 out of 10 from Phoenix Models. They do have a very good 747-400 mold. I would say it's very similar to Gemini Jets. And if you guys can find this model, I would pick it up because it is around a lot of the United States right now because of all the fires. I guess it's fire season. Um, speaking of which, if you guys do have a fire in your state or close to you, I do pray for your guys' safety. And um, so yeah, I do pray for that. And so yeah, here is the aircraft. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video, which should be a Denver airport update oh yeah also i am debating if i should do um premieres like keep doing premieres or just do normal videos so as soon as i upload it or as soon as it's in your inbox notifications as soon as i upload it um you can see that i upload it and you can just watch it right away instead of having to wait two or three days for the video to actually premiere so be sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think if I should do videos or premieres. Also let me know what you guys think of this model and if it's a good model or not. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which should be a Denver International Airport update. Peace out.